me, it would be about being able to see the impact on society as a whole, and communities of color, and um, educational settings, um, and how it disproportionately impacts people, and how we disproportionately react uh, depending on who has the gun in their hand. And I think that um, that needs to be uplifted too, and that educators have enough on ourselves that we don't need to add gun owners. Possible alternate ending to the story. Endings where my closest friends don't make it. Endings where my teachers and my mentors don't make it. Endings where I don't make it. I can usually shake these thoughts back, these thoughts in a way, the kind of way that you brush aside a bad dream when you wake up. But the students and teachers at Stoneman Douglas do not have this luxury. They lived through a nightmare where their friends didn't make it, their mentors didn't make it. They don't get to wake up. It's the new reality that they live. If the students of Stoneman Douglas High rem remained silent in their grief, no one would blame them. It is a horrible thing to see a friend die. But the students have done the opposite. They have raised their voices in their grief for students like me and students around me. We cannot afford to raise an entire generation afraid to go to school. But it will happen if we continue to allow innocent children to be murdered. Awesome. Maintaining an uplifting spirit, an empowering voice, um, making sure people feel heard, you know, mm. rah, rah, rah type thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're here, you know, like if we don't do it, who else is going to do it? And like the time is now for us to act. And that's basically, I don't know if yeah. any one of you want to add a little bit of, mm -hmm. to what I said when I said my speech. Who no, is that? That's, yeah. that's like most of it. Perfect. It was very powerful, the, mm -hmm. the time is now part, yeah. I would definitely say. That's what, that was a big takeaway. Mm -hmm.